dressed into the simple man with Ethan Krell and Stan Nicky Rod and Damian Anderson. Ooh. Stay a while if you know about the jujitsu. If you don't, you can come to this is What's going on, guys? Uh, another episode of the Simple Man Podcast. I'm Damien. I'm Nicky Rod. And we have our guest. Pierre-Olivier Leclerc. Yeah, exactly. He said it. Mouthful. Mouthful of peanut butter. Um, all right, guys. So we're here at Nicky Rod's house. We were just discussing Nicky Rod didn't want his in because he's caffeinated. But the thing is, it's late. It's like 7 p.m. He usually doesn't have a coffee until... Oh, usually, only before usually my last coffee is like uh, noon, like noon practice, so like 11, 11.30 or something. Yeah, we talked about this the other yeah. day, right? So like, you, made, you made me think because you were like, oh, sometimes caffeine helps me with my recovery. Like you said that, right? I mean, I wear a whoop. And yeah. Whatever, like I've been, you know, in the morning, like you wake up, you have your recovery and then you put your journal, like you'll put like what have you eat, like at what time and like stuff like that. Yeah. And the insight for whatever reason tells me that caffeine helps my recovery like one of the biggest thing that affects my recovery i didn't do any research on this <laughs> I have absolutely no idea but i just take two or three coffee a day yeah. my last one's around like three four p.m sometimes five yeah. and i have no issue sleeping at all so yeah. ch so with that said right i've been only doing one cup of coffee a day like right before tw noon practice and no, no other caffeine and my hrv heart rate variability has been like kind of like low right it's been kind of low and <clears throat> i was like what the fuck like i'm sleeping great i mean granted i'm training like every day like like per usual you know what i mean yeah i train maybe like 12 plus days in a row without having a rest day and um last yesterday when i planted my peach tree I had a cup of coffee at like 4.30 p.m. Like before doing it. Yeah, before, I, before like later. Later yeah, than yeah. I usually do at 4.30 p.m. <clears throat> and then I wake up this morning and my HRV is higher than it, it usually is. And my recovery is much higher than it's it's been in like a week or two. Are what, we on to something? I was like, what is happening? So what's your recovery usually and what was it now? So percentage-wise, recovery is at like... Between sixty to seventy-five percent, and that—that means your sleep. Because I don't have a whoop, so what does that mean? Especially the listeners. So I was having good sleep. Like my sleep has been like eighty percent, sometimes eighty-five, ninety. That's um, like the sleep you need basically per night. But that's not recovery. No, that's not recovery. You could have like a hundred percent sleep, like you did all your hours, but for whatever reason, like you didn't sleep well, like you didn't have like good like deep sleep or REM sleep, yeah. and then your recovery could be lower as well. What is the difference between the sleep and recovery? The recovery is basically the combination of like the algorithm will look at like your sleep, your HRV, uh, your uh, resting heart rate, uh, your uh, what else? Like I uh, think there's a few things that it looked at and uh, looks at and then with your average during your month or whatever, it will kind of calculate like you're recovered or you're not. Okay, so... Yours is, is higher after having this coffee. After having coffee later at 4 or 5 p.m. And then <clears throat> what was also lower, which is good, is my uh, resting heart rate, my, my RHR. Mm. Um, Interesting. Yeah, so my resting heart rate was lower than it usually is, which is good. Yeah. And then HRV was higher after I had caffeine later than I, I the usually day before. Had. And I still, had, I still trained every day, no days and off. how hard your, was your training yesterday? It was... Uh, maybe lately it's been like 7.5 out of 10. Okay. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I've yeah. been scrapping like pretty, pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, average. I'm like, so I'm even not, like I'm yesterday, comprim. like you had a pretty hard session. Yeah, for sure. Okay, like yeah. hard enough that my, I was anticipating a bat, a, 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 a low, uh, fucking lower HR, recovery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lower recovery. That's interesting. Yeah. So what your, what's your resting heart rate? Resting heart rate. <clears throat> I'll tell you right now. I don't wear a whoop, but I went to the hospital once because I thought I was uh, dying. <laughs> I got too much caffeine or something. No, I was having heart palpitations. It was like was a, it from caffeine? It was or a no, year and a half ago. No, random? I had COVID actually. Oh, but 
I didn't. Interesting. I didn't get. Te- well, I think I had COVID, but okay. I didn't. So rest, resting heart rate fifty four. Oh, well, that's good. What's yours? Uh, around the around same thing. Yeah, I I uh, hover around. Like the lowest I go will be like 45, 46. Yeah. But the usual, let's say, when I train like pretty hard will be around like 50, 55. And then for the past two weeks, my HRV has been pretty low at like 50 to 55. And then I have this coffee and I wake up and my HRV is 68. So now you're on to an experiment. Bro, so t- you're going to try. Are you going to try every day I to had, see? Bro, I would love a second. Every day right? I come out of practice like, fuck, I want a coffee. But I don't think it's good for me. If if my shit keeps coming back better, I'm absolutely yeah. going to have a coffee I, before. I think my... it depends how you feel. Like there's some people that react really hard to caffeine. We we're talking about Ethan, yeah. maybe like he says, like if he has a coffee a bit too late, he's like wired. For me, I feel it doesn't wires me that much, you know? Yeah. For like, me, I'll have one at like 4 p.m. And like sometimes I would have one after dinner and I'd be like, nah, fine. I can't do that. I think like around 4 to 5 p.m., like it, I really can't have caffeine that late. Like really? after 5 p.m., sometimes I'll do it, especially if we're podcasting and I have to go to training just because I'm, I'm so tired. And you sweat it out. If you're going to train, like oh, you sweat it out. Well, I mean, I mean, it's like a toxin, right? So I, I'm, I guess, I'm guessing you're going to metabolize it if you're exercising. I'm, I'm is, sure. this, is this bro science? <laughs> is this that's right. Like, oh, sure, I'm okay. sure, like to a certain extent, when you train, like, you, yeah, there's something happening that uh, makes you process it probably faster. Then look. Me and Nicky Rod didn't do any research on this <laughs> topic, yeah. but is this a research podcast? <laughs> it's a simple man podcast, yeah, guys. exactly. So guys, you sweat it out. Yeah. If you <laughs> fucking start fact checking us <laughs> and commenting, look at the fucking fuck title. I bet you hi- I have a high percentage of being right. Uh, maybe. I, <laughs> I would. Interesting, I, would yeah. get, I mean, I would bet that. I'd bet we're usually more right than wrong. But guys will will comment <laughs> on our uh, yeah. on our post or our YouTube. Saying, I can't believe you guys made this mistake or whatever. And I'm just like, it's a simple man podcast. Look at the off. title of the, like, yeah. why are you even listening to this if you fact check <laughs> people? Like, like, go back on Reddit, you dork. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> um, I will have a coffee sometimes, especially for podcasting before I have Muay Thai. Um, but that night, it, sometimes it, I'm wired. Really? Yeah, yeah. Man, I feel like I get the coffee, like, for sure, like, the first hour I'm a bit wired, but, like, when it's time to go to sleep, man, I close my eyes. Ten minutes later, I'm out. Oh, we've been cold plunging. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, we, we talked about this on the podcast, though. Have you guys but talked you about it? You have been... Yeah, well? I've been, like, like we pretty did. much almost every day. I skipped, yeah. like, two days because I had, like, tendonitis in the quad, so I was, like, I think I'm going to keep it like give it a rest a bit give of some warm. flow yeah exactly better, exactly yeah. but dude like uh yesterday when we got back from um six flags six flags we were like dead tired and you, you get a like an adrenaline dump yeah yeah, yeah. you do yeah. after yeah. yeah like i like damien was driving but we're in the car it's dark out i was just like passing out i'm like <laughs> oh my god i'm gonna get home and just pass out and then uh we wanted to play some video games so i was like I got a cold plunge. Otherwise, I'm I'm just gonna knock not out. gonna be able to play at all. So we cold plunge, like two three minutes. I did like two and something. You did three. I did three. Yeah. And then, uh, dude, you get out of there. You're like you're awake. Like, really? Awake. It feels yeah. so good. It's like a rush. You get a yeah. rush outside. Yeah. I hate it right before. I hate it the first minute, minute thirty, and then once you're halfway there, you're like, okay, I can do another like minute and a half. But um, when you get out, you <clears> feel so good. Yeah, I, I honestly, I love the cold plunge now. We've been it's, using Sisu plunges. Uh, they sent me and Nikki one. Um, you know, love it. We'll, we'll bring a link. We have a, a discount code, code, code B too. Team, right? I think the code is B Team 300. We'll include the link and you guys get $300 off if you guys want to purchase the cold plunge. But honestly, super. Um, um, having so I love it, cold plunge. Having it at home is a game changer. Dude. Like, for, like cause, right, like usually like me back home in Montreal, I have to go to the gym where they have the sauna, cold plunge, everything. And and the combo like, is the best. Oh, oh cool. man! Like you, you want to get a sauna now? Yeah. yeah. If you like, if you have a sauna and a cold plunge at home, like that's the that's the dream. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll get a sauna too. For sure. You just gotta put it in the garage, I so, guess. So, uh, Nikki Rod, you're gonna keep the second coffee now. See what happens. I am. Yeah. Well, yeah. I had one uh, another one today, so we'll see how the how the recovery is uh, tonight. And we'll kind of go based off. Dude, there. you gotta learn how to make the milk oh no today i nailed it did you i've been yeah. practicing i've been i had like 10 reps for the past four days <laughs> Hell i've been yeah. using the soap and water you got it good bubbles. now yeah Wait, so what, soap and water which is this what are you talking about oh for it's practice. a it's a trick like for practicing you oh, can use uh water with a little bit of like dish soap or whatever really and uh and you swirl it and it recreates like kind of the same the foaming foam. yeah 
So I figured out a, a, an aspect that was messing up. I was doing good getting the vortex, getting the swirl right, yeah. and, and the position of the of the nozzle, but I wasn't putting any bubbles in there initially. So what I'm doing now is I'm like leaving the nozzle like a too, little bit. too far out so it can put big bubbles, yeah, and then turn the big bubbles into small bubbles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that's that's a good, yeah, it's a good trick. But like at some point, like the more you do, you'll go by sound. Like you'll know when you're too out or too yeah. deep. And you want to find that sweet spot where, like... Do you do that as well at the beginning, like, trying to get the no, heavy actually, bubbles? No, actually, I just, like, I start it, I, I go in, and then I just adjust my position, like, either more air, so there's more sound. Mm. You know that kind of paper, like, uh, sound, like, if you're... Uh, ripping, ripping it? Ripping, ripping, paper. ripping paper, yeah. yeah. And then if I feel, okay, there's too many, like, it's too getting too foamy, too thick, then I'll put it back in a bit deeper, get, mm. get those bubbles going, and... Uh, Thing. I had a so my first pour today was pretty good, and then the second one I had they call it a whiteout where the it's just completely white on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when is it not white? What are you talking about? Well, like oh uh, wait, yeah. is this the, the, the soap the and bubble thing? Is well, that? no, this is like for design purposes. Yeah, yeah. Where you, where you get the you get the milk, you pour it, and then the whole, the top of your of your coffee is completely white oh. instead of showing. Yeah, it's like the foam, like the foam went on top. You're supposed to like uh, basically you get your espresso right, and then once you have your milk, you're supposed to kind of um, keep the crema on top by like yeah. uh, swirling it, and then oh. you maybe we can do it after if you want, but like like you swirl it and it gets like uh, um, kind of uniform if you want, and then you can go in and then like slowly pour mm. like your do shape. You, do you do anything like do you mix your uh, the, the espresso before you? Usually not, but it depends uh. if the crema is too. Thick. Sometimes I'll I'll move it around because otherwise, like the the milk won't come out on top. So. So when so every time you pour, it's not it's not the same. It's never the same. Yeah. Never the same. Never the same. You gotta each you gotta adapt. Di- so a lot of times different. you go you'll go swirl. I'll always swirl at the beginning. Always swirl. And and you don't want to be too close because if you're too close to your coffee, that's where like the 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 milk will come out back on top. Yeah. So you start like higher. You kind of swirl it. And then you go closer, and then you start pouring oh, with a with a shape. Yeah, should uh, this is clearly the master of well. of uh, latte art. Is it latte or cappuccino? It's the same latte, shit. I guess. Latte, latte. latte art. I, that's what, that's what they call What's it. What's the difference between cappuccino? And latte? Isn't latte more so milk? More milk in a latte. Cappuccino technically would be like your espresso. You have milk that you kind of swirl, and then at the end you bring foam on top. Like so, it'd be. But do we not have foam in that milk? Uh, yeah, but like if you want to do latte art, you need like um like kind of micro foam they call or I'm not even sure about the words, but like and then that becomes more of a like a, a real cappuccino would be foam on top, milk and espresso in the middle. Just want to take a quick moment to thank our sponsors, Massive Supplements and Violent Hippie. Use code. Simple man, all caps for 15% off both of those companies. Massive supplements, trademarked, smashing greens, smashing reds, very nutrient dense foods. I personally use their creatine and BCAs during my workout and sometimes even before the workout. For Violent Hippie, they have soaps, USDA, CBD oils, t shirts, rash guards, you name it. Owned by former Navy SEAL Mitch Aguiar, use Simple Man to get 15% off. Guys, Violent Hippie, massive supplements, get the smashing greens, smashing reds, all the vitamins, nutrients you need to get that body that you want. Natty Rod style. What's up, y'all? It's Damian Anderson and, and Nikki Rod from the Simple Man Podcast. We're here to let you know that our merch is live. You, know, you guys want some t-shirts, some fancy cups, support the Simple Man Podcast and get our merch. Link in bio. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Nikki Rod. If you're looking to support the Simple Man Podcast and myself, please check out carnejerky.com, C-A-R-N-E-J-E-R-K-Y. Anaconda Fightwear sent us some some braces. I actually used it before. That's how I found out about the company first, was when I tore my, my meniscus going against Gabe Souza, all the other knee braces would slide, and I fucking hated it. This one has, like, two straps, so you put the knee brace on, and there's padding. I constantly use a knee brace. Like, I don't train without a knee brace on my left knee now, so I'm definitely going to try these out. Oh, shout out to Anaconda Fightwear. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? I hear you, I hear you. All right, change of topic. <laughs> Nicky Rod, you fell on your motorcycle today. Well, a dirt bike on the dirt. 
fluffy, soft dirt. What what happened? Give us give it give me the rundown. You oh, you went riding today. Yeah, yeah you went riding what, today. Well, the Sundays is usually a riding day, right? Yeah, I mean, was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any uh, day that ends in day will be my riding day. <laughs> yeah. So this is pretty much tours. I only ride for like an hour and a half ish, mm -hmm. just because I can get fatigued. I'll get like pretty tired. Like. Honestly, having is that it's that tiring. Well, ha it, ha having good like stance, good technique, and riding like it's pretty exhausting. Wow. Like my heart rate was like one sixty for for no like way. really yeah yeah it's pretty because you're you're essentially you're squatting. You're kind of squeezing on it as well, right? Yeah, or? you're squatting and and you're um you're multitasking a lot, like like left foot shifting, right foot breaking, yeah. and like fingers are in positions and, and really focus the whole Real time quick, as well. Before you talk yeah. about this story, you're. How hard are you holding on to the to the handlebar? So the wor the worse you are at riding, the more you ha you're squeezing, like you're using your your mm -hmm. arms and yeah. stuff to hold on. Because like if you're just hitting the throttle, you're it's pulling, plate's going away, so you have to physically yeah, squeeze hold. the bars to hold on. But the more the better technique you have, you you can position yourself to where as you're as you give it more gas, you bring your head more forward. And you position your toes so the the bike can pull you, can drag, can, like you like can push you a little bit, almost push you instead of okay. pull you. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. interesting. So having good technique is uh, is quite tiring, uh, but ultimately it's it, it eliminates the as much arm pump. They, they so it's like, it. it's more efficient. It's the most efficient way to it's to more ride. it's more efficient. Yeah. Okay, so what what happened in your in yeah? Your... For, with my little spill, I just uh, <laughs> I was just coming up to a, a, a first off the problem was the confidence. I was like doing I was doing really good all day. Okay, and I was like, I'm about to make this so trip confidence my bitch. Was really yeah. high. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's where like, shit happens. Yeah, I'm about to make this jump, my yeah. bitch. Dude, I was like, I'm sending it now, and um, so I, I'm jumping and whatnot, which is it's fine because I I don't go too crazy, but mm -hmm. then I start I go around this corner that I hit 50 times already, and just slightly too up, too fast, and a little bit too upright, and so as I'm going around, I like uh, I like pretty much catch the the front end of my wheel and the handlebars turn and uh, I like go off the front and I just did like a shoulder roll and land on my feet and I look back and the bike's like like pretty much flipped like did like a front flip or something oh shit but uh, yeah that's it I mean I wasn't going I wasn't like going at racing speed so you know I just uh I'm gonna get my risk, you know. I don't go too fast so, so I know I gotta know how to fall for sure so was it a it wasn't a jump it was a turn it was a turn yeah oh okay Two yeah. two wheels were on the floor. On two the wheels are on the floor. I'm going you around. You were not a berm. in the air. No, at the no. time. Okay. No. Oh, when I when I when bad, I go yeah. in the air, I make sure I'm like like really <laughs> use straight good technique. <laughs> try to stay sh as straight yeah, as yeah. possible. Yeah. Dude, uh, you ever I, ride dirt bike? No, nah, not really. Yeah. No, I rode his dirt bike fucking Did a you? month yeah. ago. I was I couldn't even start the fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, I was like trying to kick the thing. And I was like, Nah, Nick, you're right. You got to do it. Yeah. Um, but uh. After that, I was interested in Supercross. So I've been watching what is that? Uh, some Supercross. Every Saturday nowadays. Is it? It's live and shit? It, it's, okay. They're in season, yeah. Is it oh, a, wow. It's a race? Supercross. Is Monster Energy Supercross. Yeah, it's a... Uh, they have... Um, <clears throat> there's a slight difference between motocross and Supercross. Supercross is indoors. Mm. Like, they do it in arenas. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've um, seen this. Yeah, so uh, right now they're in season. That's they're, cool. they're racing pretty much every weekend for a few months. Bro, that's just wild. It's crazy. That's just crazy. Like, wow. the amount... Of, it's like they're they're doing jumps and then right into a turn, yeah, into yeah, another yeah. jump. and whoosh, It's it, impressive, but every time you make a sport out of uh, something that can race... Shit's gonna be crazy, um, bro. Every like, time they crash, it's either they get up right away or they're like they look like they're dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. You know God. what's wild is uh, I'm gonna find this one crash for you. Guys I, right I wonder that. how's the injury rate in Supercross. I think it's 100%. so. Okay, so last Supercross season, yeah. only four guys raced every race only without getting injured. Only four died. <laughs> yeah. Out of no, how many? So yeah, every everybody without injuries. Yeah, there's like there's maybe oh there's um. God. There's like, uh, must be 60 or 70 guys that race every weekend, and only 20 make the main event. But at, for every race of the whole season, there's only four guys that went uninjured. That's you fucking know, crazy. You know what's weird is when I, I, I saw one guy fall off his bike or crash, whatever, and he's getting his bike back up, and the actual dirt looks like soft. It's like, it doesn't look like, I, I don't know. It's like they're kind no, of sinking into yeah, their yeah. fucking... 
into the thing is that like, is there like a special type of dirt that they well they definitely it? they use different types of dirts uh which is interesting as well because as you travel around the country and race in different races different parts of, of the country have different types of dirts some tracks will be a lot of sand other be others will be um you know more clay or or regular like a loamy um and then <clears throat> and then if it rains it's like a complete different race mm. as well do you have different tires or you just have like like, do you know anything about the tires that, like, what's what's on your bike right now? What do you have? Yeah, I just got, uh, I got Dunlop, I, be, I believe, Dunlop Racing Tires, and it's just, it, there's the bike's completely stock right now. All I added was a skid, skid plate to they're it. They're for the dirt. What, what's, for a the skid, dirt. Yeah, what's a yeah, skid plate? Skid plate is like a, a guard for the bottom of the um, of the engine. So not, if any rocks or anything, it doesn't uh, crack the up. engine case. Similar to like, you would put it on like a, uh, a an off-road uh, fucking vehicle or something Dude like buggy that. Or some Dude shit. buggy or some buggy or... You guys uh, ever heard about... Um, I think they call it like the Red Devil or something like that. It's a three-wheeler, but oh. with two, oh, two Honda, wheels yeah. in the back. With the slingshot yeah. thing. Uh, wait, no. wait, wait, sorry. No, no, so it's a three-wheeler that's yeah. that's made to go on the dirt. Oh, no, no, no. And it's, it's actually legal now. Like, it doesn't exist. It used to... I think it existed in the 90s or something like that. Mm. And um, that thing had one wheel in front, two in the back. The most dangerous... Fucking thing you can ride. Really? Why? So I so almost easily. killed myself. Oh, you rode one? Yeah. So Ooh. I don't. I don't own one, but I. Um, me and a couple of friends went. They had motocross, and um, one of our friend had that thing. It was like his dad's or whatever. Mm. That thing was old, and he's like, "All right, we're riding the motocross. You can ride this thing, but I gotta tell you, when you take a turn, you gotta go completely to the side. Oh shit. Against it. So let's say you turn left, you gotta go like to your right. Otherwise, yeah. it will flip you. Wait, no, no. If you're going left, you have to turn. You have to move uh, to the oh, left. I don't fucking remember. Even <laughs> <laughs> look, something Whatever. like this. Okay, okay. He's like, you're gonna flip if you like, especially if, you if you're like going fast. So I'm like, all right, you know, I'll start slow. We'll see what happened. So I start going on this, and we're in a pretty large like uh, trail. It's nothing too crazy. And immediately I feel like, oh my god, if I turn this, <clears throat> I'm gonna get. That's like, why they flipped. discontinued them because everybody yeah. was flipping. Exactly. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. why. It was actually, fucking yeah. dangerous. Wow. And his dad was using it, I think, for hunting or something. <laughs> you know, he's not going fast. He's dragging stuff. So we go on the trail. I start getting the hang of it. So I start confidence. Start going oh, right shit. here, yeah. man. We go to. Uh, it's like kind of going up. Like I'm, I'm putting this. The fastest I can. Oh, shit. We start going down, and one of my friends is kind of stuck on the trail. So I start hitting the brake, and the brakes are not working that much. I'm like, oh, oh no, this shit. is not good. So I try to turn it a little bit, and the, <laughs> the front wheel or the front tire gets off the wheel. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, what exactly. You, what are you talking about? It, it came off the rim. Yeah, it came off no. the rim. So <laughs> listen to this. So I start tilting towards the left, towards the oh. ditch, and I'm like, I'm trying to bring it back, but it's not working because yeah. it's on the fucking rim. Mm. So the rim hits the ditch, plants, and just ejects me. It must have been like at least 40 miles per hour or something Should like have that. A helmet like, on? Was that? Yeah, helmet? Yeah, I had a helmet, thank God. But again, <clears throat> you said like falling. Man, I was lucky. I kind of I, I got ejected and I kind of front like shoulder roll. And I just did like a few <laughs> shoulder roll basically, wow. landed. Like shook, obviously. Like I, I get up, I'm like, what, what the, the fuck? fuck just uninjured happened? though. Uninjured, yeah. but just a little bruise on the hip. But dude, that's so, an athlete right there. I was man, yeah. I was like so lucky. I could have like, like I could have hit a tree or something. A normal person would have like landed on their neck. You know, most Probably, people can't yeah. fall. Like when you see like they scorpion because yeah. they're yeah. not tucking rolling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, they it just, their, it just, some just go limp. Like, <laughs> just give up. Oh man! Jesus. But man, I got really lucky. But that three wheel, what, that was his last day. Because yeah. like we uh, we had a, um, a side by side too, so we kind of took him out of the ditch. Man, the the front. Um, whatever attached the wheel, like the by uh, forks. Yeah, the fork exactly yeah. was completely. Yeah. fucked up wow. and uh yeah we went back to uh we were like kind of camping around or i think we we're at a buddy's cottage but we tried to bring it back and it was just done check, yeah. check out this crash i saw, I saw this Let's live see it. saw this live in um dallas a couple weeks ago weeks ago you were there you saw it live Watch when he clips the rear tire see his weight go forward 
Oh shit! What the hell? Oh. No! Oh! Oh! Does it bike hit him? Oh no! Dude! Yeah! Dude, he looks like it looks fake. Oh, oh dude, he, the imp- he was laying there for like ten minutes. That did you see the impact on his back when he yeah. landed? You get the wind yeah. knocked out of you like that. I mean, I think he he had. Some I think he broke some shit yeah, for, for sure. sure. Oh. Like that impact <laughs> was insane. Yeah. So, like, I'm watching that live. Obviously, pretty crazy. But he's he's in first place right there, right? This kid named Brian Deegan is like trailing close behind him. Okay. And like, I think what it is is. Like time under t- under tension, like pressure over time. So, uh, Deegan, the guy in second place, is like has opportunities to pass the guy, mm, but, but doesn't, doesn't. But doesn't, yeah, because he wants to apply pressure. Right? You got 15 minutes. Wow. He's like, so over the laps, this guy's like, fuck, he's getting closer. I gotta push. You gotta push it, and then boom, you start making a mistake. He's hit that same that same uh, jump lap, whatever, uh, like. Maybe times. 10 times already in that race, and then just a millimeter short on one and gets bucked off like that. Wow. That's so, crazy. Yeah, the, the wow. pressure over time can, yeah. can add, yep. like, yeah, it makes you second guess, makes in you a, make In a mistakes. race, especially, wow. it's like, like you're first, so you got to be always, like, the fastest, yeah. right? Like, you got to yeah. stay the fastest, and then oh. this can build up in your Like, mind. a lot of guys rather be in second, having somebody to chase, and then pass at the end and win, yeah, yeah. than be in first, because they just feel, just hear the guy, like, oh, he's getting closer, you know? And it's yeah. just, you apply, it gives you anxious, almost. Wow. Dude, that, that crush was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, Do you ever terrible. see the, uh, it's like a marathon runner. I didn't watch the marathon, obviously. For but, uh, six hours. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> there's this clip it's like this one runner and then there's like i don't know an african dude behind him and uh the african dude's just running right behind the guy in first um uh, so like you know there's like the draft or whatever so then the guy moves over to let the the african get in front but the african just doesn't and then they're going like this across the uh he, <laughs> the thing. he, just, he just doesn't pass him he just stays right behind him i mean yeah the draft will make it yeah yeah like for yeah, sure it's crazy especially if it's windy out there like, you get a, even from just human running i'm, you get I'm a sure you get it a little bit yeah it's, it's like, a common tactic apparently yeah i look because i know in cycling you 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 see this a lot right like guys will be wheel to wheel literally right and it makes the whole difference if you ever tried in yeah. cycling it's crazy yeah. how you get dragged by somebody i do it on the highway to save gas money there you go see <laughs> same thing but you'll see that in race like in the faster you go the more drag you have for yeah. sure but i'm sure in running there's a body like let's say it's windy a little bit i'm sure it makes a difference yeah, sure. or, it. like Dude, it might yeah. just be mental even but also a good society from there Oof. Mm-hmm. Man. Back. yeah right. you just like you, <laughs> yeah as you pass him you just get yeah the yeah dude we oh, went man. to six flags yesterday yeah what's yeah. the biggest roller coaster there I think right. it has to be the last one we did. Oh, maybe the Superman is the biggest one, right? It's, it's I don't know so what, big, right? You guys are laying down on Superman? No. no, unfortunately, it's not like that. I was yeah. telling him about that because in yeah. Jersey, there's the one where you where you you like are Superman, prone. Yeah, 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 you feel that, fucking that, awesome. That, that sounds pretty fun, but, but um, um, dude, the Iron Rattler. So Six Flags here is nowhere near as good as the Six Flags in Jersey. I'm sure there's other better Six Flags. Don't but say this. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> it was still fun, but Six Flags in Jersey is just fucking awesome. That's but probably we, the original one. Jersey? I, I mean, I think so. I don't know. It was fucking <laughs> sick know. over there. But went to the one in San Antonio. We did a, a ride called the Iron Rattler. The best Bro. ride I've ever done. It yeah, was right. swear. sick. We yeah. were like two kids. Cause, so here's the thing. Like We got in the, in the park, and we did a few rides, and we both... We're thinking the same thing, like, we're a bit old for this. It seems like <laughs> you we guys in the teacups or something. <laughs> 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 you know, so we should have done that though. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 um us it's us two, my girl, we go to Six Flags. Just I randomly just wanted to to do something fun before trials because I have trials next or we have trials next weekend. Yep. And I'm like, all right, you know, we've been fucking grinding. Let's just do something to get get our minds off of uh you know, competing, just, you know, have some actual fun. So we go to Six Flags. We bang out, like, we get the flash pass, which is so worth it. No brainer. No line at all. We just fucking go right to the front. Amazing. Man, I would have not enjoyed my time if it, we it had not the oh dude it was waiting no in waiting line, in line? The yeah, yeah what yeah. the hell no we, we get some happening. flash passes we get on Pay like two win. rides <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we get on two rides which were like crazy rides you know we're going upside down whatever but um getting like a little motion sickness and it's it's not as fun as i remember i'm like i'm like maybe you know i was just a kid and i just fucking love these things but i used to love this when i was younger whatever and we we're thinking that yeah we're getting maybe we're just too old for six flags and uh my girl's like, all right, you know, I'm going to take a break because 
we're, our bodies aren't adjusted to this roller coaster shit. So stomach's feeling a little bit weird. It's actually funny. Before we we were trying to look for the best roller coaster, and we go on this this thing that just goes like straight up and straight down, whatever. It's just like you know, I don't know what the fuck the name is. But we get to the top, and we're looking, and we're talking, and we're like, oh shit, we should go on that one. And as soon as we like, I finish talking, it just drops us, and we're like, oh! <laughs> so that was a pretty I funny. Like you were, yeah. You were yeah, 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 exactly. That was a good feeling. That was actually. that was it's funny because we're yeah. having a full on conversation <laughs> at the top of a. Whatever it's yeah, called, it's like, like slow to bring up. Whatever, yeah. we're not even thinking about and, uh, it. But that's where we, we <laughs> saw the Iron Rattler. Yeah, and we're yeah. like, this thing looks pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So we have to go. We we're like, all right, we have to do that. And so we're about to leave, and um, my girl's like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna wait for this. I'm gonna not do this ride, and I'm gonna wait for the Iron Rattler. So we're like, all right. And like the Iron Rattler is kind of mixed in with another another roller coaster. So we're sitting, and then. P.O., we're sitting on the roller coaster now. My girl's out, uh, you know, just waiting for us. And he's like, you know, like, I think this might be the thing. And I'm like, what? Like, no. And we look at this big, because, like, the Iron Rattler has, like, a big climb up and huge then a huge drop. drop. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, what, is, what do those initials say? And he's like, I-R. And then I was like, oh, the Iron Rattler, we're definitely on it. I was like, all right, well, I guess we, we're, uh, we're going to go on it. So we fucking start climbing to the top. And just a sick roller coaster. We fucking just fly down. And what was wild is that like it brings you down and then there's a slight jump and then it comes back down. So it like pulls you like your body wants to go up, but it pulls you back down. And we're just fucking screaming. And then after we're like, holy shit, that was like the feeling. We run back, grab my girl. We go back on right away. And since we yeah. had the flash pass, we yeah. just like we didn't like wait at all. We just grabbed yeah. her, went right back on. It was a fucking. You ever been to thing. Hershey Park? No, what is I that? I think maybe when I was younger. It's a, it's a good roller coaster spot. Is it? I, I don't really yeah. remember. I don't. Is that a? Oh, actually, no, I'm thinking of fucking Hershey. Dorney. Hershey no, no, no. I, I've never been to Hershey Dorney? Park. Dorney? Yeah, yeah. I don't. I've been to Dorney Park as well. I, I, I forget. I remember going to Dorney Park. I just forget what the rides were like or what the experience was like. I've been there, but I don't know. But Hershey Park is good. Hershey Park's good. You, you guys have done uh, like Universal Studios or anything? I've no? been there when no. I was younger, but I don't remember. Everyone says it's amazing, though. I, I yeah. don't. I don't know. Those parts are blocked out. I went yeah. to like Disney World too. I we went should, to we should, Universal. We should go together one day. What, what's the Universal best? Universal Studio is uh, Universal the best? Well, it's the best. Like uh, you're riding through a movie. Universal Studio and Islands of Adventure. It's like, it's like uh, Hollywood uh, quality graphics or. Like, okay, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. production, yeah, production yeah. design, whatever, and then they make like a, sh a movie into a roller coaster kind Dude, of nice. pretty yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah where's think... where's Universal Studio in Florida? In Florida, Florida? Yeah, yeah, Orlando. Yeah, nice. We definitely uh, should plan something where fucking all of us go and just have some fucking fun. For also, if you bit. go during Halloween. They turn the park at night oh, into yeah. a like a fright fest type of thing. Yeah, but it's yeah. the best. It's the best, it's the best one. Of all. Yeah, because yeah. it's that high level. They production. have that yeah. production exactly. Yeah, that. yeah. yeah we so, used to have that because we have a Six Flags in Montreal as well, on like on little island, yeah. like on the side, and uh, they would do that every Halloween. Like it would just turn into a fright yeah. fest. Yeah, it was. It was sick, one time man. I went early on during the day, hit all the rides, and then come back like at like seven p.m. and just. Go, I, I will never war. not. Is there a flash pass for that? Yeah, I you gotta get. I yeah, will yeah. never not get the flash oh, it's pass. For things. Yeah. It's like I I cannot believe that people wait. I used to wait in those lines all uh, the time too. as a kid. Like I was, I guess I was too poor or something to get the flash yeah. pass. Like that is forty extra bucks. Yeah, let's, yeah. Let's, let's, let's get this going. It. But it was worth it. Oh, it was the best. Like we <clears throat> did all the ride we wanted to, and just didn't wait at all. Didn't like wait I at think all. we waited. The max was like ten minutes. Yeah, and that's beautiful. One, oh man. And that was only I'm for too, one. I'm, that was for the I one. I feel too old to wait in line. You Bro, I waited like, 45 minutes one time for the Hulk in Universal Studios. I mean, it was a great ride. Yeah. But it's a 30-second ride. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Like 45 yeah. minutes. It's like, the, the ratio is <laughs> yeah. not yeah. great. Yeah. It's not there. <laughs> Dude, standing in line, I don't know for it's you, but my me. back hurts. <laughs> I'm like, me. ah. <laughs> Bro, talking about scary shit. What? Did you guys see the... We talked about it earlier. The Moscow oh my concert shooting. No, is this recent? Like a couple days ago, 140 yeah, people apparently died, got yeah. shot, and it killed. It was a uh, concert in Moscow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, uh, was it fire ISIS is is claiming it. We don't know uh, who's actually responsible, but ISIS is claiming it. Whatever. Uh, I have a rogue actually, but bro, it's 
it's crazy because they release um they release body cam footage like the terrorists or whatever so oh so they have like gopros they have on gopros this? on their fucking how shit. crazy is that like you're, you're gonna go and like 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 well they want to brag about it yeah exactly yeah. their goal was to go and kill people innocent people and then they have cameras well when the seals go kill them we should fucking release the footage like haha you know we got yeah. you bro cut you up I in mean, the pieces it's fucking nuts yo so it's a whole concert right yeah. a whole fucking arena these guys are just ripping people with ak-47s and it's like there's multiple of them and there's people dead on the ground already oh, and then man. the buddies behind them are just you know tapping them making sure that they're fucking dead like shooting them whatever that's crazy. and then there's other guys that are unloading into corners because these people are are just they have no exit so they're all just kind of piling up in a corner just trying to get away from this person you know they're in a corner obviously they can't get away and they're he's just oh, shooting man. into this group of people bro it's so fucking is is it considered a um like are they doing are they doing it the terrorism stuff because it's like a religious thing like they're like they want you to be the, their religion no, or they just want to kill n- no one really knows for I now know. why and who did it really? we don't like, even know I, if this is so, isis we don't know so either. isis like apparently isis whoever is at the head of that like said it was them but like you you don't know until but apparently they catch the guys so far like there was a car like and there were like six in that car and they like caught them and they're still oh, alive six so of them yeah attacked? yeah, yeah wow. they might have been more than that but i know they caught like from what i saw on twitter like real yeah, quick those fuckers think, are you know how many died tortured i think i think it's around 140, 140 for now it might be more wow. you know at the end like uh because it happened like two days ago yeah and, just, um, yeah very recent dude Brian. that's just that's just sad to Wait, what's crazy to me is that i don't know like that has to be some crazy fear when there's multiple people with guns and you're unarmed. Like at least if you're armed, there's like are right, there's hope. Like you can become the predator. You can fucking yeah. hunt them down. But it's like if you have nothing, I can't like, even Im- imagine. You're, like your what's your mindset in that time? Like, dude, you're, you're that's just, just trying to. But you see how people react. They're just trying to get a win. They get stuck in a corner. You know. It's like are you supposed to charge the person with the gun? It's like but then there's no like, what you're for sure dying. Like, yeah, like, I, what like, else you're going to do at the well, same time, yeah, right? The best way, is, I mean, obviously this is not going to happen, but everybody charge at the same time. Yeah. That's yeah. the only way. There, but, there's no but other. No, it takes one person to be like, yeah, fuck this, I'm out. And, and everyone's like, yeah, like, you're yeah, right. Yeah. 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 That, oh, man. But then at the end, like, even if you're trying to, you're stuck in a corner, you're not going yeah. anywhere. You're getting That's, shot. You know? It's like, like you, you kind of, I oh. guess you kind of have to like. Play, this is what you do, right? You play, you play dead under uh, somebody that's already dead, and then when you see them walk by, then you take their back, strangle, take the gun. Yeah, and then you try. That's that's do the work. I mean, that has to be done. The the only become the only thing is is to go on the offense, right? Like that's the only yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. It's the same thing with unless jiu-jitsu. you can find like a place to like hide. But like if we're in that still, situation is in a die. corner, yeah. Yeah, but man, if you're unarmed and people have AK-47, yeah. my guy, you got to run. Yeah, You got to run for your life. That's number one, unless you're armed. Like, if you're armed, you can defend yourself. But if you're imagine, unarmed... Imagine you you, right, like, you you take the back, you kill, you you strangle and take the gun, and then everybody thinks it was you that was oh, mass, yeah. massacred. That's, that that, would, that would be fucked. That, that's, a, that's a problem number two. You got to get through problem number one first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Problem number one is the most important. Yeah. But um, I genuinely feel like... Like, all right, running is obviously, you know, try to fucking preserve your life. But it's like, it, just like jujitsu, if I'm passing your guard, if I'm attacking you and you don't attack me back, I'm just going to continue attacking. Of course. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. like you have to give a threat so like to cycle, get me on the defensive. Offensive, defensive cycle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like the only route to. Yeah, I agree the best with route you, has to like, be an offensive route. I just don't know how I, without a gun. That's the thing. It always depends on the situation. Like if you're without a gun and you're going against someone who has an AK-47, you're not winning that fight. Yeah. You know? But yeah. like it depends. Are them. you stuck in a corner? In a corner, you kind of got to do something. There's nothing else. Yeah. There, there's no you're more dead options. Anyway. You're dead anyway. You can probably like, eat a couple before you go limp. I don't know. AK-47, <sighs> man? Have you ever you shot hope, that? You got to hope a it's mil. not. Yeah, a 9 mil maybe, but like even then, like... Bro, bullets. I never got shot, so I don't know. But like yeah. AK forty seven, I shot one. Oh my god! Yeah. My first reaction was like, people shoot at each other with that shit. <laughs> yeah. I swear that was my reaction. Oh, man, and then I, I had fun emptying the, the thing, you know. Bro, but, that's god, just such man. a. We gotta all carry guns. Yeah. Fuck, that's so anyway. I like being in Texas. But even like you go on a concert, they're gonna. They're not gonna. Like, they, they'll take it away. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking concert anymore. 
No. Ah, watch, come on. Watch it on TV. Nah. Every now and then I go. I don't go to concerts, actually. I've been to, like, comedy shows. Yeah. But, but see, it could happen there. You know what I mean? What I, I mean is... Like, uh, Joe come, Rogan come has his guys yeah, security. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. They got good security. <laughs> they, sure. they do. Mothership I mean, ain't getting fucked around. Especially with. in Texas. Like, actually, yeah. I don't know. Sal's a fucking security guard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, like, for Nobody us, sell. like... Uh, up in Canada, like no one carries, right? You're not allowed to carry. Um, you're allowed to have a gun. Like you can't have a gun permit and have a gun. There's a restriction on shit. Like is this you recent? Guys you guys can't no, can't carry. No, it's been like this for like as far as I know, yeah, no right. one can carry. Um, but like shooting, like they've happened in the past, but they're very very rare. So it's always that question, right? But like, it's like. If you go to a theater, you're not gonna carry, and that's where like you're everybody's vulnerable. You uh, know? Concert hall, no, nah, yeah, theater. I'm definitely carry. I carry literally everywhere I go. Can you carry at a theater? Unle uh, essentially, um, unless you go through a metal detector, yeah. Okay. Like, so yeah, usually, um, I forget where the band places are. I really should know. It's like, I think. What if you're watching? Probably, a, no, but a professional yeah. sports also is yeah, yeah places yeah. where like there's. Like alcohol is like fifty one percent of the revenue there is yeah, it's yeah. illegal to carry. But for the most part, like even if if businesses post like no guns allowed, you can still carry. But if they find out that you carry and they're like, okay, they you could, have to leave the they premises. Could sue you or no, 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 no. Okay, they have to ask you to leave, and then if you don't leave, then you can get uh like criminal trespassing. Okay, yeah. But yeah, if yeah. they ask you to leave and you leave, there's you can't get in trouble. Yeah, because a business can ask you to not exactly. Of course, like because yeah. it's private property or but whatever. Fuck that, bro. Yeah. Fuck that. I'm carrying everywhere. But if someone tells you to leave, then for sure. I'll yeah, you'll leave, leave, right? Yeah, okay. yeah. For sure. <laughs> Take for your sure. gun out. <laughs> Make I'm not me. going. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But, man, that's just... That's scary. The only sure. way to beat somebody with a gun is with a gun. You cannot yeah, yeah, beat them yeah. without. Like, I mean, that is just... Well, with could a use Tai Chi or pressure points? Oh, do you guys... Ah, fuck, I want to see... McDojo can... stuff. Yeah. yeah. McDojo. <laughs> Bro, there's a... You know what's your chi? I love McDojo videos, There's a McDojo man. video of this I... chick <sighs> making her sensei pass out through... Uh, Hell yes. Through fucking... Through kinetic force or whatever. something like that. Oh, man, it's so Bro, stupid. I love those videos, man. Why do they I think do... it's so funny. Like, like, imagine those people believing in that shit. Like, they truly believe. They watch that video, they're like, wow. How? Super like, power. <laughs> yeah. How is that a real... Thing that people look at this look at this shit how can you listen to this fat guy samantha bro he's out of breath the, <laughs> the man needs to work out no oh that's that's stank breath i, heard, I smelled that before <laughs> that's breath of the dragon yo the guy's knocked out though <laughs> Wait, what, what do you got to say against that? He's knocked out. Oh, oh my God. That's <laughs> just like, ah, oh, damn, bitch. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, you, I told you, you see, not that hard. Dude, look how, look how much he's playing it off. You got to believe in that shit. This guy was in glee class for sure, bro. I love the background, too. It's like the stars like in the background. It's like a magic show. Bro, <laughs> these people are fucking idiots he's probably making seven figures on instructionals dude how why do learn jujitsu if i can just yell at them and all your problems go away you know sometimes people will ask <laughs> right. me like when they first start um what about if? like like pressure points and shit and i'm just like all right stop that stop that you know, you know that's what? what you remember that video with me and j dog where we like chopped our achilles, achilles. or whatever oh yeah, yeah yeah that went super viral because people were like was that a pressure point is that why he fell dude people, that you, you realize know? how like that, that like people in general like believe that shit. Well, they, means, the thing is, is like they don't they, understand. They have no idea about physical contact. Yeah, yeah. Or physical like conflict. They they think that's a real thing. That's just insane. The, the to best me. would be just like if someone asks you about pressure point, just put them in a rear naked and ask them to use their pressure point. Yeah, put see them if out. you can get out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh my god. Or like yeah. there's like one pressure point where I can kill you. But I won't ever use this because, you know, it's Bro, the, too lethal. the only pressure point is a uh, straight up dick twist. Yeah. That's, that's, a real, that's the pressure, pressure point. That's, that's, that's a, a real, real pressure point. Yeah, that yeah. that you'll weird. react. Yeah. For yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a rough one. Ooh. Oh, bro. Ice. Did you see what? the guy, the UFC fighter that bit his opponent? Oh, yep. Man. Bro, I don't know his name. Should we find his name or whatever? Nah, whatever. He's the, he's I don't the guy that him. bit the other guy. I don't even want to give him publicity. Yesterday, because uh, today's Sunday, yesterday, 
UFC fights. This guy's behind somebody. Has him against the wall, though. So he's on the offense. He's technically right? winning. He's winning the fight. I didn't see the whole fight, but winning that exchange right now. He has rear body lock, pushing the guy against the wall, and bites the guy's arm. Bro, and... Like, pretty hard. A pretty hard chomp. Yeah. And then... uh Gets DQ'd, gets released from the UFC. What Got idiot, cut yeah. right away. But of course, like... like yeah, you, what the you fuck are you doing, that. bro? Ruin his, his only, his only argument, he could be like, listen, I read the rules. This wasn't in the rules. <laughs> it was no, no it's probably in the rules. Right <laughs> <That's right>. For <laughs> sure. The, I dude, imagine, like, this guy, I think it was his second round in the UFC ever. Not second match, not second fight yeah. or whatever. Second round, ruin his career by biting someone. It's a conscious decision to spit out the mouthpiece and still say... I'm gonna bite this guy, dude. I so I don't, I don't stupid. understand. It's a hate and act. Dumb. The other stupid thing is the guy that got bit, got it tattooed. Got it tattooed. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty awesome. That's. You think it's awesome? I, I think, think it's kind of gay. <laughs> <laughs> I think you it's kind of funny. This, this, this is get a this guy's is mouth <laughs> on your on your bicep <laughs> tattooed, <laughs> bro. Think about it. Well, what's what's gay? You're having the like the lips tattooed on your neck or uh, teeth marks on your? I think they're both pretty. They're, gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with Damon. They're, they're both pretty you're gay. gay. <laughs> who, has li- who has lips on their neck? Well, just, uh, I feel like that's a used to be a popular tattoo. Yeah, yeah. Like that's the lips. Thing. That's kind of gay. Feel like guys that have like a neck. Tattoo, they'll they'll maybe have a little lip <laughs> on their side. Kind of weird. Yeah, it got, definitely. It's not that weird. what you have behind your ear. This, yeah, that's this is lip, my mom's yeah. favorite number, twenty three. I have twenty three tattooed behind. Uh, that's like a on my number neck. of chromosomes. Um, what? So that's the number of chromosomes. I actually, yes. <laughs> do we have twenty four chromosomes? I forget. No, you. <laughs> you got you got, you got twenty one. I 21. used to say that I have twenty three because. Uh, I'm 23 years old. Doesn't that mean Down syndrome? <laughs> it does if I lost a chromosome, right? If you lost, what's if you have an extra one? Oh, is it extra? A, you're just a horse. Or, isn't it 21? I Shit, I, I, horse. I, I, simple I man podcast. Fucking, yeah, we're simple man podcast. Google this. Is that 21? What 21? animal has 23 chromosomes? Dude, look up how many chromosomes a human have. I thought it was 23. 24, maybe. All right, I'll let you guys. How many chromosomes do human have? Wow, I can't even speak. 23. Yeah, and if you have 21, yeah, no, 23. Uh, you have Down syndrome, I think. That's no, because you lose one. Or or one, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's 21. Potatoes and chimpanzees both have 23 chromosomes. How many chromosomes does Down syndrome Oh, have? fuck. 24. I'm not even answering this right now. 40. Did you say 40? What? Oh, no, no. We have 23 chromosomes. Yeah, yeah. You just looked it up. Yeah. The Chinese s- s- subspecies... A small kind of deer also have 23 chromosomes, so maybe we could breed with deer. We Oh, dude, we could have deer people. What's that What's that what thing from it? Narnia where it's like, uh, oh, like horse uh, bottom? Centaur? Centaur. centaur. Or minotaur? Down uh, they have an minotaur. extra chromosome. Extra, one, okay. One so. extra chromosome. Okay. But, um, yeah, I'm I don't lost. know. How many chromosomes we have, us three, all together? <laughs> Man, we got <laughs> one brain cell, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's 69, right? We have, uh, we have right? trials coming up this times week. We have, tri- we have trials coming up this week. Yeah, you feeling do, for trials? You're doing 77. Feel, doing 77, yeah. yeah you yeah. guys in 77. Yeah, we I'm got like, um, myself, Kieran, Austin. Who else is doing 77? Nikki's going to be there to corner? Nikki will yep. be there to corner. He's there already, right? Yeah. He's, he's, he's already he's in, in Vegas. Vegas. He's been yeah. in Vegas. Um, yeah, I feel great, man. Um, it was a pretty like roller coaster kind of camp. Like, uh, deal with, like, stuff, you know? Just, it happens. Like, body, all that stuff. But this week, it was hard training. Felt great. Uh, my body actually feels good. Maybe the cold plunge. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? But, um, yeah, and the weight is, it's easy for me to make 77. I walk around pretty much on weight. Yeah, almost. you're pretty much, like, on weight. Yeah. I'm, like, walking around, like, 176-ish. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'm actually excited. It's it's weird. This time, I feel like I'm really not nervous about it. Mm-hmm. More like I, because I was thinking so much about like just being in good shape and making sure I, I make it to trials. And now that I feel good, the way I see it is just like I want to go into every match with like, like I, I've been really telling myself this. I don't want to be like stuck in a box. Like tunnel vision. Tunnel vision or stuck in a box. I feel I've made that mistake a few times, especially last trials in my the, on the second day. I went in and I played like more my defensive game instead of playing like a like being on the uh, on the hunt. So right now I'm just like I feel like I'm good at wrestling. I'm good like counter wrestling. I'm good like on the back front headlock leg locks everywhere. So I'm just like going and wherever 
Whatever happened in the match, I got an answer, and I just want to get after it, you know? It's a I good like, mindset yeah. to have, I feel. I like yeah. to be offensive the whole time because I feel like, you know, like the more you attack, even if you make a mistake or two, the percentage of your positive uh, attacks goes goes through the roof. It's higher, mm -hmm. yeah. Right? If you yeah, only attack sure. once or twice, maybe it works here and there. Yeah. But if you attack 20 times, you make one mistake or here and there, but you have 20 positive movements, it's going to... Yeah, you're match. winning. And the other thing yeah. with that as well, I feel like... Um, like, I really feel like if I get on any form of submission, whatever it is, I feel like I have really good mechanics. So, like, people get fearful of that. I don't, sure. I, I'm sure, like, people, Damien, you're like that as well. Like, if, if you get on, on a bite or on a guillotine, like, it's it's not like, oh, I'm in a front headlock, it's not dangerous. If you get me in a front headlock, I'm like, fuck, I got to exactly. move right away. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, you can chain your attacks even better. And look, like you said, worst case, you make a mistake, and then you have to, like, play defensively for a little move or two i feel comfortable in every like i know for every position defensively or offensively i'm i'm comfortable i've done it yep do so much work in the gym you know yeah yeah so feeling good we have a bunch of guys um even in 66 we have me j dog roman maybe that's it actually only three guys in 66 i don't know Maybe he's going to be Mattia, uh, right? But he's not doing it. Mattia, Mattia, we'll see, right? We'll uh, see. So. We'll see. Uh, he might. Yeah. I think if he's banged up and he has a problem making weight, he should jump up to like fucking 90. Do under 99. Instead of 88? Yeah. Because <laughs> he wants to win, <clears throat> right? Yeah. I think he has a better chance of winning under 99 just because it's, it's less technical. And those guys will probably Get wrestle. Slower, those guys are yeah. slower and they'll wrestle with him. And That's that boy's a, a dog yeah. wrestler. Matai is yeah, looking good, finds man. the back, bro. Ooh, he's yeah, yeah. No, good. no, you're yeah. not wrong. You're not wrong. I'll, I'll try yeah. to talk to him tomorrow. See what yeah, he's doing. See, see how he's doing. Yeah, we'll see how he feels as well Like uh, about yeah. it. I'm um, just excited to fucking compete. Yeah, man. how you feel? I feel great, man. I haven't competed since my last MMA fight because it's like, I had my MMA fight, then was trying to get fights and things were just like falling through was like wasn't able to get opponents get wasn't able to get dates locked down um and then trials came around so i was like all right fuck it i guess i'll just do trials so now it's looking like i will do trials and then mma fight most likely may or june now depending on if there's a uh, a super fight that comes up or something but you on fury compete for fury yeah yeah fury, just yeah. bang out the rest of the contract and then we'll take it from there see um you know see if after the contract do i go to the ufc do i re-sign a contract with fury maybe i fight for another organization for a little bit depending on how my skills are how my experience is how i'm looking in the cage but man ufc just, likes you yeah yeah i have a good i have good connections with them i've good my management's really good so we'll just uh we'll take it fight by fight, fight. By fight yeah exactly but yeah you might compete fuck, with uh me and j-rod and uh in may yeah, they were talking about that. Jay sent me, said that they might have a fight for me, so, so the, I'll talk to them tomorrow. The Fight Pass Invitational, yeah. Fight Pass Invitational. That'd be sick to get on a card with you guys um, and just, uh, yeah, scrap a little bit. Man, it's just, I want to fucking compete. Yeah. I haven't competed in a while. Nikki, yeah. how you feel about uh, that rule set they're using at uh, Fight Pass Invitational? Yeah, I, I like it because um, the points doesn't allow for judges to say, oh, this guy won, oh, that guy loses. It's fucking... Let's have uh, like I like the the definitive loser and or winner. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. It's like there's he, no ambiguity. It's like all right, he won because he has more yeah. points. Understood. So yeah. the new rule set now is like uh, ten minutes of uh, sub only kind yep. of, but like pushing the action. Yeah, like if you if you're not attacking, yeah, you're getting a stall call. Okay, good. And like two or three stall calls negative. Yeah, and then overtime is like ADCC style kind of. Or? Yeah, overtime is um is points, but yeah, but but the score it's actually it's uh less it's easier it's you force him to turtle that's points oh, or you okay, force nice. him to you go from standing to so open guard or close guard that's that's very points. decisive then yeah, yeah so yeah. you don't need to get boots in it's, it's a score. bit more like uh, ibgjf right like you you can like uh put the guy down in yes. turtle and then if do, do you score four points as well or no um, Turtle, I right? think uh, I think it's like two for two for a takedown and then if you get if you get boots in it's another two nice. or something like that yeah, yeah or I think may, that may, maybe it's four for back take because when I t when I scored on Roberto it was two for the takedown and I think four for the back take six zero, 
Sick, yeah. sick. I feel like I, like watching the last one was really fun. Like I, I felt like they they nailed the rules that they need to use because uh, there was the one before where you went against Yuri. Yeah, like they were trying stuff out and you could tell like it wasn't. They well, had hit me with that stall call. It's yeah. like I was like I pulled guard and then Yuri like like hugged my foot and I was like all right I have to free my foot and then within three seconds they were like a uh, negative. I was like yeah it's so weird. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean they're they're uh, they're figuring it out. But I think it's a great rule set, I, and I think they have the best production. In addition, whenever we collab, like B Team or myself collabs on the content, it goes absolutely viral. That's so sick. people yeah, people yeah. love it. Dude, the, my my favorite clip is the uh, the one I think it's Yuri yeah. when he was you're like uh, stalling, and he was like "fuck you." You're like "I love you." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit went viral as that well. Was, like yeah, was a funny I, clip. I seen it on the I think on the on the YouTube shorts. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's so funny because uh, you're like a stalling bottom. It's just like fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> oh, it's pretty funny. Like, what are you gonna say, man? The guy's on top of you, like mounted, yeah. and he's like, yeah. "I love you." Ah, nothing you can do about it. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. think I confused him there. Yeah, he's yeah. Like, Whoa. <laughs> I think I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> you had no choice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, yes, was it yes? Yeah, yesterday Ethan fought on Karate Combat. Fought, and that was so weird. He was supposed to fight. Well, he didn't know who he was fighting for the longest time. Then it then was supposed to be Lance Palmer, Lance right? Palmer, which is pretty accomplished. Good wrestler, guy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 good, good wrestler, good f fighter. And then I don't know what happened with that. Ended up going so with apparently Lance Palmer. But that's true. Actually, he has like even footage. But like the day he was supposed to fly, or the day before, someone broke into his car, stole his travel bag with his passport in it, oh, and it was in Mexico, wow. so he couldn't. I was, at first I was like, oh, that's a, that's a fake that's story. A, that's a crazy <laughs> excuse. But apparently, like they, well, they said on the show yesterday when I when I was watching, they said he had like footage from his home, like with the guy breaking in and everything. Oh, he, wow. goes, he goes, maybe he goes. Gracious, the guy's like, like <laughs> <laughs> he goes to the guy. He's like, can you take my passport as well? <laughs> oh my god! I don't want to fight Ethan. <laughs> yeah. So then he uh, ends up fighting. Um, I don't know the guy's name. Yeah, so right. I forgot. But uh, another like one championship fighter, I think, yeah. ends up taking his back and strangling him yeah. in like two or three e minutes. Ethan Fashion style. How long was the match? I think like two, three or three minutes, minutes, two or three minutes. Yes. But I'm, I'm sorry. How long was the time limit for the match? Twelve minutes. Twelve 10, minutes. 10 or twelve. 12, minutes? 12 oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ethan Russell or like uh, yeah, he long? wrestled with him, and oh, yeah. then uh, I think he hit like kind of a snap down. Then he had like a front headlock. Was trying to go for a guillotine. Uh, then hit uh, a go behind. And uh, the guy was kind of fighting with the underhook, and then uh, Ethan took his back, and that was it. Six, yeah, six. put a squeeze on the jaw. Like, that boy, uh, yeah. once he gets your back, oh, it man. is near yeah. the end. Bro. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's for sure his best position. It's like if yeah. Ethan gets to your back, it's like anyone that done like and any weight as well. I'm sure you can relate, but like if you do back rounds with Ethan, it is not easy. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, it's, honestly, Ethan's really heavy on top as well. Like his passing, his passing is, yeah. really passing yeah. is absolutely phenomenal, the, and he has a very unique style of passing. Like, not too many people you pass. No one that. does it. No yeah, one yeah, does yeah, it, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 The yeah. way, like, so he, he implements like kind of floating pass style, a but little. the way he actually does it with his pressure, like he made it work for his body type, and it is hell. Yeah. I never, whenever I roll with him, I'm like, I make a point. I, I'm like, if I get on bottom, I have to find space to heist back up because yeah. I'd rather wrestle with him. And he's not easy as well to wrestle with. Bro, I try to go Ashigurami on him sometimes, and he feels like a million pounds. I'm I know. Like, I can't lift him up. I'm I know. 10 times the size. And the guy's 66 yeah, kg. It's like, wild. So what crazy. the hell? Yeah. Bro, he's been deadlifting like, like over 400 pounds too now. This fucking guy. Yeah, man. He's too fucking strong. Yeah, it's crazy. That's absurd. I was like, yo, how's your lower back? He was like, oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully he doesn't injure himself no, doing it. But I yeah. fucking yeah. hope not. Yeah, because right. I think he does thing. good. Like he'll build up and then and then like maybe work down, taper like, down a little. Some bit. guys go yeah. right for the heavy weights. Yeah, no, like, right, you gotta build up. You gotta build it up. Yeah. And the other thing too with deadlifts is like, you know, we train so much. So if like you go in one day and you're a bit tired and then you you go crazy on the weight, like. You can fuck up something for yeah. sure. Mm -mm. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, good performance as well. Uh, there was a uh, Gregor Gracie uh, that oh, Gregor, fought yeah. uh, Jay Z from yeah, uh, he's, Fight he Sports. Him, right? No, he actually he uh, he went for a guillotine, like sick guillotine, like jump off the the side of the pit wall <laughs> onto the guillotine, and then lost it. Took took his back, 
and uh, actually hit a shoulder crunch from behind, like oh, belly shit. down on the back. Oh, wow. It was pretty cool. Sick. I don't know which of them got submission of the night, but I think there was a bon bo bonus, bonus for that. Yeah. Okay, sick. Um, sick. But uh, yeah, Gregor looks strong as fuck. Did you watch yeah. Polaris last night or no? I watched JoJo. Yeah. I thought, <clears throat> all right, thoughts on JoJo. First match, great. Um, yeah. Sub, yeah. Sub the guy. Um, yeah, he, he, he made what, him what tired as well. It yeah, was, what uh, kind of submission was it? It was a Kimura. Kimura. Yeah. Kimura. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He like a uh, trapped arm from like uh, almost north south, like sitting on his chest. Yeah. And then uh, hit a Kimura. That was um, that was clean. Yeah. Yeah. So I've, so this guy, what's what's the Aussie's name that he lost to Levi? Levi. So probably the best guy he's gone against. Who, who's better than? Uh, yeah, Levi's really good. Levi's I mean, really good. yeah. I mean, the two other guys that like maybe at the same kind of level would be Taza and Taza. Uh, and, and this uh, guy beat Chichinsky. Yeah, and this guy beat, beat Taza as so, well, yeah. So cl close to either one or two of the best guy he, he, he yeah, went against, right? Definitely. So um, I thought I thought two things. JoJo's camping um, in the first match that he was using uh, worked really well. And then we saw a slight difference in, in the quality of a competitor. Like, um, fuck, what's his name again? Levi. Levi. Levi, Levi Leary, right? Yeah, yeah, Levi yeah. Jones Leary. Yeah. yeah, so Levi, a uh, bit more flexible, bit better at like framing and pushing. Very good guard. Very yeah. good guard, uh, pushing him off. So JoJo couldn't really get the the pressure from his camping, and then kind of like later on in the match, uh, Mr. Chen decided to use like high stepping, and he got into the sequence where he. He went from camping to high stepping, leg drag, and then like a back stack from the leg drag. And I thought that was his best like passing attempt. Um, really so I think if he used more high stepping and and more like, and, and he was able to initiate a sequence like that, I thought he, um, he yeah, could have passed the guard eventually. I, I wonder if he would have used um, scoop grip passing, how that would have done. Because a lot of the times with really flexible guys, it's either body lock passing or yeah. like double scoops you got to kill the hips like yeah sometimes <laughs> sometimes like i feel when when you're trying to use toriandos or high steps against really flexible yeah. guys sometimes they just enter your legs right away and it's like there's wedging back takes off of that but i wonder if, if he went either body lock but the thing is he plays supine so it's like yeah. if he if he goes double scoops and now could use that to start getting angles i, I wonder how that did you watch go. the finals i watched part of it where uh it, he just won on PJ won on two takedowns. So right? he so he played a very strategical game, right? He trapped him on his feet. In order to pull guard, yeah. you need to make grips. Contact. So so he didn't yeah. hand fight at all. He was all distance, and then boom, explode to takedown. Which yeah. is this guy Levi's terrible yeah, at no wrestling. wrestling. Yeah. So he, he gets him down to the ground, and he's just like recovering and playing his guard, but he's got two points. And then Levi goes for a wrestle up. Uh, uh, PJ limp legs out and, and boom, just, stuck on a standing. Yeah, again. yeah. So he does again, like in and out, in and out. That was no, smart. no ties, no ra yeah. no hand fighting, and then boom, blast another blast takedown. Double, right? And I was like, I was like, damn. If JoJo had a, a strategy like that, for sure, has much better, significantly yeah. better wrestling than. Uh, yeah. yeah, but yeah. Joe Joe likes to tangle with yeah. people yeah. as well. He right? plays he, like yes. he plays like this. Like yeah. he likes yeah. to get grips. Yeah, yeah. Oh, exactly. we got to know how to adjust. Yeah. yeah, have different rules. Yeah, right. yeah. PJ PJ was a good example of yeah. like, doing the right thing. Because yeah. uh, Levi went for a wrestle up, PJ limp legged, and then instead of just turning around and reengaging with a collar tie or whatever, he literally just backs up and brings his arms up. Yeah, it's Smart. like that's that's a really veteran of the game. Way. Exactly, because yeah. it's like he knows that if yeah. Levi is gonna stand with him, PJ is gonna take him down. Yeah. No, that was yeah, really and, uh, intelligent. Great on him. PJ is a good wrestler, and he's very physical and explosive. So yeah, he, like yeah. he used his his uh, abilities to. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's not even yeah. about skills; it's like the tactics. Like yeah, who yeah. can make the better decision, the smarter decisions will yeah. win. Yeah. And that was a really that was a, that was a really intelligent way to to, to go about. But that you match. see how important it is for like big like big big shows or like like ADCC or stuff like this. Like you can't just go with the mentality of like. Oh, I'm just gonna sub this guy. You gotta find ways to make sure you're on the winning ends, and then you find the submission. Well, yeah, that's. I was kind of telling our guys like going in the ADCC trials, like objective one is to win, objective two is to sub. Yeah. yeah. Right. Don't yeah. force a submission and lose yeah. on points. Win first, yeah. and then if you have an opportunity to sub, take it. Yeah, and if I can add, like, <clears throat> I feel like uh, IBJJF was good for me uh, as a competitor to uh, teach me that exactly because i find like all my best runs that i had in ibgf like at pans and stuff like that was like i would always score first mm -hmm. 
And then I knew in my mind, I'm like, now this guy has to run after me. And he's going to overextend. He's going to make a mistake. mistake. And that's where I would find the Mm -hmm. submission every time because he's in panic mode now. He's down two or four or Mm -hmm. more. So I don't have to rush anything. I just have to find my spot. I'm in control. And then the guy's going to overextend. And then what happened? Yeah. You get a submission. Yeah, yeah. But like if you're down, the opposite happens. Now yeah. you got to do something, right? So yeah. I think like scoring, I like point system for that reason. Scoring brings like force people to start actually doing jujitsu. Yep. Yeah, for sure. For sure. All right, guys. Anything else we'll call it? No, it was good. All right, guys. <coughs> if you guys watch to the end of the podcast, what are they going to leave? P.O., what are they going to leave? In the uh, what do you mean? We, we open with coffee. This is a co- coffee, coffee yeah. yeah. Okay. Make sure, yeah. Make sure yeah. you do your, your swirling. And, <laughs> and your Le- leave, leave a coffee emoji in the comments if you guys watch to the end of the podcast. If you guys enjoy the content that we create, uh, you know, you enjoy the podcast. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you hit up Massive Supplements. Use code SimpleMan15 for fifteen percent off. Also, Anaconda Fightwear, best braces in the game. And, um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm Damien. Nicky Rod. Pierre-Olivier Leclerc. You've been simplified. See ya. Nice, nice. All right, boys. Yeah, thanks for having me. That was fun.